This part's terrible. This is the second to worst part about printing your own labels. Sometimes I put my finger in That's it. That's what she said. How's it going? My name's Sean. I go by Taylor Exchange on YouTube. And today I'm gonna show you how to print these guys. If you're wanting to do a SKU system for your inventory and you're getting stuck because you cannot find someone you can purchase anything over about 10,000 SKUs, I'm gonna show you how I've been printing these with my Rolo printer. It can work for other printers. You just need a few things. First things first, you're gonna need some of the labels I just showed you. So these are from Uline and I get 22,000 at a time. I think it costs about 140 to 160 bucks. The next thing you're gonna need is a Rolo printer. You don't need a Rolo printer, but I can tell you Rolo for me has been doing really well. And this is how I print all of those labels. And then you're going to need a computer. And then you're also going to need Microsoft Office. Now you might be able to use Libre or some of the other ones, but I have not figured that out. So the demo I'm going to show you is with Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel. One thing to remember is you have to have the actual printed side facing upwards when you feed it into the Rolo. One hiccup you might run into is if you have never put in a different type of label in the Rolo, you're gonna have to hold down the button on top for it to calibrate that size label. Once you have that done, if you want, you can feed these back through, but I just rip them off. Okay, first things first, you're gonna need to set up Excel. So with your Excel sheet, I got the grid here. You're gonna put numbers in the first column. Typically it would be one, but since I'm at 22,000, I'm gonna put 22,000. Now that we're at 22,000, you need to hold control, and this is a Windows, and you're gonna drag down. See how the numbers are ascending? You're gonna go all the way down to the next thousand mark. There is a faster way to do this, but I don't know how to do it, so this is how we're doing it. There we go, so we have the numbers. A thousand is what I do at a time. You could probably do more, but I feel comfortable with a thousand because you do have to roll these up at the end, and it can take a while to roll up all of it whenever you're done, but we'll get to that later. And then you're gonna to wanna to save this. Now that this file is saved, we can go to Microsoft Word. So I went ahead and opened Microsoft Word. We're at the home screen. We're gonna to go to mailings. Once we go to mailings, we wanna click this button here, start mail merge, and we're gonna actually select labels. So after selecting that option, we're gonna look at this here. So I have this saved, and this is the exact size for the labels that I use. What you can do here is go to details, and you wanna put the top margin at nine PT. You wanna put the height at 72 PT, the width at 288 PT, and then the side margin at zero. This gives you an example of what it looks like, and I found this to be the best way to print the labels. They're not exactly 100% in the center, but they're pretty dang close. Now that we know we've selected the correct size, we wanna have it on continuous feed printers, and then we're gonna click OK. From there, it put the shape of what our labels are gonna look like on Microsoft Word. At this point, we're gonna to go to select recipients, and we wanna select use an existing list. What this list is gonna be is the Excel sheet that we made earlier with all the numbers on them. So I saved it to my desktop under SKUs. Now that I've found the exact one that I created, I'm gonna put OK. From here, we're gonna put insert merge field and numbers is what we labeled that one column, the top uh, cell was numbers. Now that we've selected it, numbers fell into our column with these little arrows on the outsides of it. We're gonna highlight it and we're gonna change this to 48 and we're also gonna center it. After we've changed the size and centered the word numbers, we're gonna go over here to update labels, press finish and merge. Under finish and merge, we're gonna select each individual documents. This text box pops up and it asks merge to new document and we're gonna put merge records all and press okay. Now you can see we have all the labels here and they're ready to print. The final thing to do is to go to file and you're gonna print. And whenever the Rolo printer says ready, you press print. But before you press print, all these are gonna print out non-stop it's going to be a thousand labels and the most important thing is to make sure you get them folded so that they're not a huge mess on the floor it's time to print what i like to do when it's printing is try to get it to the exact fold that it was when it was in the box so that they start laying down correctly you can if you're really good get this to lay down on the floor without having to touch it but i feel like you still have to guide it with your hands so for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to do this in my hands so that you guys can see it on camera easily. When I decide to print labels, I usually print about 2,000 at a time, but I am listing 30 items a day, so I go through quite a bit. But for this round, I may print 5,000 so I don't have to worry about it again. And then if you guys are looking to print, you can always refer back to this video and feel free to ask questions in the comments down below or reach out to me on Instagram and I can show you guys more about this. This is the second to worst part about printing your own labels. 
have a bit of OCD and this is actually driving me insane right now. Okay, finally, we reached the end. So we got all of the labels printed out. Okay, now I've made this mistake a couple times. What you wanna do is you wanna get the very last number of the skew and you wanna start rolling it from there. Because if you roll from the first number, it's gonna be backwards when you're trying to pull them off to actually put them in your inventory. I wanna show you a little hack that I use in order to get a perfect roll going and then I just put a rubber band when I'm done. So you need to get either like a Sharpie or something round to act as a spindle so that you have something to roll it around on. You wanna roll it whichever way is most comfortable. So I'm gonna grab the marker and I'm gonna grab my number here and then I'm gonna start rolling it and you wanna make sure you get a nice clean tight circle in the beginning and then you're just gonna have to roll the rest of it up. This part's terrible. It takes probably like 10 minutes to roll this up properly. I thought about buying a device to roll it on its own, but they're actually pretty expensive and I don't do this enough times to justify buying it and using it because you still have to set it up and actually like manually roll it or there's a machine one that's even more expensive you can use. Usually I just watch some YouTube or something and then just get to rolling. Every so often when it gets loose, you wanna tighten it up. It starts to happen a little bit later in the roll though. The other thing is be careful not to accidentally un, you know, peel off one of the labels while you're doing this. Now that I have a nice base set up, I can roll it here and it goes a little bit faster. Sometimes I put my finger in it. That's what she said. And then I just kinda of roll with my one hand like this and this goes a little quicker. I've never tried this method, but it actually seems to be decent. So I may give this a go for a while. <laughs> Dude, look at this. See how it's super loose though? See. So yeah, it's just, it's better to just make it tight. If you do have something happen where it tears apart, you just have to tape it on the inside here and then you can just continue rolling like that. If you guys know a better way to roll this or like something I can do that I'm doing wrong, please comment down below because this, <laughs> I'm struggling, I'm, I'm struggling. So I think if I use my left hand to kind of steady it and my right hand to spin it, it's keeping it pretty good. <sighs> thank, thank goodness, man. My shoulders are tired and my forearms, okay, it's mainly my shoulders, but I think it's because I was holding it up. Usually I have this down in front of me while I'm doing something else. At this point, you just put a rubber band around it if you guys enjoyed the video on how to print this label, go ahead and like the video. Go ahead and subscribe if you wanna hear more content about how I do simple things like these to make my business run a little more smoothly. And if you guys have any ideas on how to make this thing uh, go any smoother, please drop a comment, let me know. I appreciate it. I'll read each one if I can. I enjoyed doing this. I hope you guys liked it. I'll see you next time. Bye. Sometimes I put my finger in That's it. That's what she said.